Hello. So today we're going to look at something that I know everybody will be excited to see. The Jennings Firearm. These are in 22 caliber. So as you can see, I have a small collection of these things. So I have a chrome one. I have the black one. And I have a nickel one. Now, I bought these a long time ago, and this is what used to come in the box. Is you'd get the gun and two magazines, so you'd get the spare magazine. So, that was common that they would come with. So, um, yeah, so these I used to buy a long time ago. Um, when I first got started... Um, I had bought a Raven 25 and of course that was junk. I got rid of that. Then I got this one and, um, this actually, I've got thousands of rounds to it before it started to get crappy. Um, but this is one that I gave my mother and she barely ever used it. So, the, you know, that's in the best condition. I used to carry this all the time. And then when this got worn out, I bought this one which was a later model. So as you can see, the earlier models had a little slide safety. And as you can tell, it, it is so loose. It, you'd fire the gun and it would um, move the uh, safety back and then you'd have failures. So I used to take it out when I um, carried it. But um, this one, it's, yeah, it's, and it's so hard to move it. So... It, you never used it. This one they came out with, it was uh, a little bit different. It went up like that. So it did work a lot better. Um, I had a lot less problems with it. But again, the, <laughs> these guns weren't very good. I, I was buying them for $55 each. So um, definitely uh, <laughs> they weren't an expensive gun. But let's... Do the, the, the typical stuff to see what it was. So it was 13 ounces. These were all metal frame, but they're um, they're not like a steel or anything like that. The barrel's a Preston steel barrel, but the rest of it is um, a mixture of metals. So, uh, and then let's see. We'll get a trigger pull on it. So the trigger pull on this. Come on. Okay. Oh, see the safety slid on. This is why I hated that safety. So eight pounds, eight ounces. So for us, for something that's a striker fire, that that's pretty heavy. Um, but and then the mag release was just a little. Uh, heel type release which is always a pain to try and get out in the rush these were uh six round mags but um if you loaded them with six rounds the first one usually got jammed so i used to load them with five but um so why don't we take them out to the range and see how they still do or if they even work hello so today we're going to look at a really old classic firearm. This is a Jennings firearm. It's in a 22. Now a lot of people probably owned one of these a long time ago. They were cheap. And I also got, like this is the chrome version. I got a black version. And I've got the nickel. So they normally take six rounds. I only put five in them because I had problems with the first round. So Let's see if this still works. I haven't fired it in a long time. Well, <laughs> this is this is why I no longer carry it. Because this one this one's got a lot of rounds to it, so. And that was with the CCI mini mags. So it, it should be functioning good, but 
like I said, these are an old classic that a, a lot of people, they bought them and they stopped using them. Uh, now a lot of times too, this could be because there's a little safety and I ended up taking it out because it used to slide back when you fired it. Yeah, and I think that's what I was it was doing. So let's put a few more rounds into it and see if that was the problem. Uh, it's more the extractor. But. Yeah. Okay, so this one didn't work so good. Let's let's try a black one. Well, that one's that one worked much better. This one has seen a lot less use. And then this one is a little bit newer, and you can see it's got a different safety. So let's see how this one works. Well, it worked fine as a single shot. <laughs> so, like I said, these are the old Jennings. Uh, I'm sure people are going to make fun of this. But, it was a gun back then, and I used to get these for about $55 when I, when I bought them. So, <laughs> I still got them. They're not worth anything. But, it's fun to shoot them every now and then. So, out at the range, you can see... That they work stellar. Well, <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm picking on them a little bit, but um, they were good guns. They were okay guns back then. Um, this one has extraction problems. I have replaced the extraction extractor spring and the recoil spring and stuff, but it's just so old. Uh, even the rifling is so worn out. This this is how you used to take it apart too is you you would need like a pen or something and we'll use a pocket knife here so what you would do is you would push this in pull it back and then slide it up off and i don't know how well you can see down in there but the the rifling on this thing was pretty much gone and you can't see it but that that's how you took it apart and like i said this thing is like it it was just junk it would block the little thing but um i don't even think i have the little ball bearing but to put it back together it's just the reverse so you know like that but um i know people could have laugh at him because they were definitely to do a review on it, it's more, I'm doing it for fun, just to kind of show what firearms have changed so much over time. So, um, what ended up happening is, eventually I retired them, and what I got was the little Beretta Bobcat. As you can see, it's real similar in size. This has a 8-round mag, which... Um, I never got it to work 
good with the full eight. So what I usually do is put seven in here and then put the one in the pipe. But um, maybe I'll take this out next week and do a review to show people that. But this is what um, I have replaced these with. And it's a lot more expensive, but it works really good compared to these, that's for sure. So, like I said, um, I figured I would show you how they shot and stuff like that. So, here's the target. And this was about 10 yards out. So, you can see how dead-on accurate they are um, if it fires. So, <laughs> like I said, it was more of a... I just wanted to, you know, show them off. See what people say. They're definitely something that you, you're not going to see anymore. They've got other guns out there that are like these, but these are the old Jennings. And they came with a lifetime warranty, believe it or not. It's just the company didn't last a very long lifetime. So uh, they don't make them. They've stopped making them years ago. And I've had these things for like 20 years or so. Probably more than that, actually. Probably like 30-something years. So, but I hope you enjoyed the comical video here and I hope you have a good day.